I'm about to face off against Serena in Killood City. I know I've done this kind of rival battle before. I've recorded a rival battle before this. This is the one where she has a mega, so let's see this. Hey, Junior Chicken. Will you have a battle with me? I think you're in for a surprise. Sure. My Pokemon and I will show you what makes us special. Okay. So this is the same team that I brought with me, the Elite Four. Still at level 65. So... Okay, now she's got a full set of Pokemon. What's her levels at? Meowstick. Sixty-six. She's one level ahead of me. Um, let's see. Can I go for a Shadow Claw here? Ooh, the love still reigns on. So if I survive this next hit, I could take her out easily here. Ooh. Ooh. That was a, that was that was a close one. All right. Del Fox. I think I'll go with the Pokemon. Oh, whoops! Okay. Um. Level 70. Oh, shoot. Um. Let me just give. No, actually. I'll use a full restore. I have more of those. Let's see. Let's. Let's see what, uh. What underdog can take? Cause I doubt that's gonna survive the fire rust. Yeah. Now I'm starting to feel like I should have level farmed a bit before coming to this. But I'll let badass come in and see what he can do. Go for an EQ because that's more powerful than a crunch. Oh yeah, love, love can allow you to dodge even the most fearful obstacles, and give you great critical hits against level 70 Pokemon. So I'm guessing they're expecting my starter underdog to be at level 70 already. Clefable, okay this is a new one, this is, this is the new Pokemon. And it's completely fairy, now that I think about it. Shit, I should have taught Pulse a Flash Cannon! Actually, Shadow Bro can come in for this. You know that, you know the tale that everyone was, you know that whole um, theory that people were talking about? How Clef, Clefable basically, how, Gen, how Gengar was actually was actually Clefable's shadow. And everyone was saying that if Gengar and Clefable were ever in a fight together, their moves could not affect each other because Ghost is immune to normal and normal is immune to Ghost. Well, now that Clefable is a f complete fairy type and Gengar is partially Ghost, he can easily kill her if he has a nice poison attack up his sleeve. There's the Megan, people. That sludge bomb's gonna do. That's gonna finish Clefable off. There it is, folks. There's your. Your theory has been officially busted. Gengar can in fact destroy Clefable if he has a poison attack. Jolteon. Might as well go back to badass.
Well, besides double kick, I doubt that, um, I really doubt that Jolteon would have a, a strong enough move to take down. That's the thing, I think I made the mistake. The reason why, the reason why Drink Boy got knocked out in my previous battle with Serena is because he had low HP. And with the super effectiveness of the move, it was easy enough to take him out. Whereas with, um, Dirt Bunny had full HP, so even though it was super effective, because the physical attack on Jolteon is so weak, it wasn't enough to take him out. Same case here with Badass. Although he's not quite defensive, Jolteon's a weak attacker, a f weak physical attacker, therefore even though Double Kick is super effective, it doesn't do much. And Badass has reached level 66, so I feel like I should swap out now. Altaria, Altaria. Switch to Pulsia, I guess. Might as well. If anything, Pulsia is really the only one that has coverage against dragons besides Blue Menace. So I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam here. Uh oh. That actually might not be such a good thing now because Pulsia runs off with special attack. But the four time weakness with Ice Beam. Wow, that Confide really must have done something. Cause that that if an Ice Beam doesn't take out Altaria in one hit, then you know you got a bit of a problem. Maybe go for a Dragon Pulse, cause that's that, yeah, 360 damage though. It's 360 damage. No wait, no, it's four times 65 is. Four times sixty-five. Sorry, I'm looking something up here. Two sixty. Two sixty power on that on the ice beam. And um Dragon Pulse is fairly less than that with the uh, Mega Launcher and Super Effectiveness combined, so yeah, I'm just really surprised it did not take Altaria out, so I guess that Confide really did work. But anyways, I don't know if I should stay in or keep... Okay, let me check on my Pokemon for a while. No, actually, I'll stay in. I'll stay in. Because this is the Mega. And an Aura Sphere, if I don't get knocked out here, should take it out. Night Slash. Ooh, that did quite a number. But this, this Aura Sphere should still be able to take it out. Okay. Let's get badass up in here then. Or no. Hold up. Who needs who needs more Whoops. Who needs more EXP? Okay, I, I'm gonna put Drink Boy in. Mainly because Drink Boy may be the only thing that can outspeed this thing, and it still has yet to pick up some experience. Well, good job on dodging the first attack, but will this parabolic charge... No, Surf, actually. Surf is actually my best move on, uh... Dream Boy. Ooh, another close one. I was actually pretty scared Dream Boy was gonna get knocked out, but... Absol's done. That's the problem with Absol. They didn't boost its defensive stats during its, uh, Mega Evolution, which I find a bit of a disappointment. But, uh, taking out Serena, I think about why you did well, and use this loss to make me better. Okay. Accept the things you can't change, just like AA. 7,000. Hmm, maybe I should have, uh, I should have, uh, put on, like, some sort of amulet coin or something, because I basically use the same items that I use against Diantha. Okay, got 14 instead. 
because I've I lost quite a bit of money buying TMs from the Claude City uh, Pokemon Center. This is for you. Ah, uh, thanks for the Absolite. Although I don't know, I don't know if I'm planning to train an Absol or not. Yep. That's nice of you. Yeah. At least you got the Mega Ring now. The Mega Ring and the Mega Stone. Yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try and get the Mega Stones later on. And I have done a little bit in the Battle Mason. I think I went for 10 battles in a row. And I definitely plan on catching Mewtwo and Legendary Birds and even Zygarde. But for now, I hope you enjoy my battle with Serena. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later with some more Pokemon videos. And Smash Bros. There we go. Absol is out. Even better. That parabolic charge. Giratina, motherfucker! Oh yeah.